Does your backup camera look like this at night? Would you prefer more clarity like this? Most of us with older vehicles don't have a backup camera, and if you've added one to your car or truck, you know how useful they can be. During the day, it gives a nice clear image of what's behind you. However, backing up at night is a different story. So what causes this? Depending on where your camera is mounted, you might be getting some light wash from your license plate lights. As you can see here, the license lights on my truck point directly at the lens of the backup camera. And while the camera itself has some lights, we need to get those license plate lights turned off in reverse. I'm going to use these waterproof relays I found on Amazon. They're around $10 each, but work well and hold up to being mounted under the vehicle. They are five pin and the relay itself is completely sealed against moisture. The connector has a weather seal to prevent corrosion from getting into the pins. It snaps into place tightly and you don't have to worry about water. If you use a relay that isn't water rated, you might find something like this after a few weeks. You don't want that. Here's the wiring diagram right on the relay itself to help you wire it up correctly. So what's the plan here? A 5 pin relay works like this. You have a switch side and a coil side. The switch side has a normally closed position, which are pins 30 and 87A, and a normally open side, pins 30 and 87. When you supply power and ground to the coil, pins 85 and 86, the switch moves from 87A to 87. When you turn the headlights on in your car, you'll notice that not only do the headlights come on, but so do the taillights, markers, license plate lights, and possibly others. When you put the vehicle in reverse, power is sent to the reverse lights in the taillight assembly. This process is independent of the headlight circuit, so whether the headlights are on or off, the reverse lights always work. My plan is to add a relay in between the license plate light circuit to have the normally closed pins controlling the license plate lights. When not in reverse, the lights will function normally. The coil side of the relay will be spliced into the reverse light power circuit, so when the lights come on, the coil is energized. This will make the switch side of the relay operate. Close the contacts on pins 30 and 87, and then 87A will be open, cutting the power to the license plate lights while in reverse. The first thing I have to find is the power for the reverse light. I only need one side, so I'll remove the taillight assembly and disconnect the connector. I'll place my meter into the reverse light power and ground pins and then test it. You can see that when the transmission is shifted into reverse, the meter shows voltage. These are the correct wires that I'm after. The power to the lights is this white wire with a green stripe, and the ground is a black wire. Next I need to splice into the power wire to provide a power source to the relay coil which will be located underneath. I'll leave the splicing technique to you, just make sure to seal it up well after you're done.
Here I'm using a meter to confirm the wiring on the relay I'll be using. The yellow and red wires are for pins 30 and 87, so they should show continuity with the relay powered off. I'll be using these for the license plate light circuit. Red and blue are the normally open pins, 30 and 87, so I won't be using the blue wire for anything with this project. I'll have to make sure it gets sealed off so there isn't a live 12 volt wire just hanging out underneath the truck when the relay is powered. The black and the white wires are for the coil side. I'll be using the splice I just made in the reverse light power wire to power the coil, and then I'll need to find a good ground for the other side. These are the only wires that I'll be using. Next up, I'm going to attach the splice to the coil pin. Use a good solder connection and seal it up well here. To find which wire is power for the license plate lights, I'll disconnect one side and use a meter until I find power. Make sure the headlights are turned on so these come on as well. Yep, the white wire is power and again black is ground. I'll cut into the power circuit so it can be spliced into later. While I struggle with the other side's connector, this is what the stock wiring layout looks like here with the two license plate lights each having their own power and ground. I'm going to splice into the lights and use the power going to the right side light to go into the relay and on the outlet there will be another splice to supply power back to both. When the relay is energized, that single power feed will be interrupted thus killing power to both the lights. After making all the cuts, I've temporarily wired the relay into place to do some testing. I have the yellow relay input wire being fed from the passenger side license light, and the red relay output feeding the passenger side light and the splice for the driver side. The white wire is already soldered with the reverse light splice and I just have to temporarily ground the setup here. Make sure if you do something like this, none of the exposed wires can contact each other or the chassis. This is simply for testing purposes and if everything works out, I'll be soldering and securing all the connections. Well, the transmission is in reverse, but the license plate lights are still on. Looks like I didn't have a great ground, so I'll try to find a better one. Now the reverse lights are on and the license plate lights went out, just as intended. Since the testing passed, I went ahead and saved you the time watching me solder and wrapped up the connection. This is again a temporary job so I can drive it around for a few weeks or so for further testing. If everything works out, I'll check the securement and if something needs to be changed, I can change it then. Here is the final result of putting in that relay. Reverse lights on, license plate lights go out. At night, you can see the backup camera spotlight come on as well.
Turning off the license plate lights made our camera image go from this to this. A nice clear image of what's behind you.